it is a good job I know how to count to 10 because it's morning eight. Whoop, whoop. Uh, the team is awake. Kerry just delivered me my shorts have been drying. You can kind of see outside my tent. There's our little camp. There's Sid, the generator's going on. Um, I'm off the line in an hour and 10 minutes. So I also have a cup of tea. I've just been for my morning poo. So there's something about bodies that I just think is incredible. And my body has a very small window each day where I can realistically go for a number two because out on the bike would be very impractical. But I wake up in the morning and my body's like, Duh, morning, morning, <laughs> and I basically have a couple of minutes of warning to get myself to the toilet. Hopefully the, uh, the girls might get a video of the toilet for you during the day because um, it's not one you want to look at. You just want to visit and leave as quickly as possible. Uh, enough about toilets. I'm going to get kitted up. I put this stuff on my bum. Um, you can't even see, there's no label on it. It's kind of the labeled, oh, there you go, Asos, whatever, bum cream. It's what Tour de France people use. That helps with chafing. I have a whole video on my channel about how to protect your bum on motorcycles. Well worth doing because these kind of endurance rallies, 6,000 kilometers, takes a lot of toll on your bike, uh, on your body, your bike on your body, whatever, I'm tired. Uh, but it's well worth a watch and I have got an update to my theory and a reaction to a lot of the comments on that video that I'm going to let you know probably in the next couple of days. Right now I need to get ready to get on the bike though. So, woohoo! What number did we get to? Day eight, baby. Africa Icarus! And uh, today, just so you know, is meant to be the hardest day of the rally. Just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Morning. How are you doing? Ah, you look very warm. Yay! <laughs> cool. Road book time? Take. 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 And just take. Just take. Your number? What, what is your name? 157. 157. How are you doing? Ready Vanessa. for another day? Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa. And you. Take. Take also you. Amazing! Ready to go. Yeah. Uh, starts from the big whack today. Yep. Uh, 68.2 pay 68 attention to, to the nav. 68.2. The extra vintage. Right, you've also got a job in there. Yeah. That's quite an easy chug as I get on the bike too.
I don't... Uh, <laughs> don't you go. You I've just stopped for food and a pee. I've got 420k left. It is a lot, lot sandier today, which makes for smoother riding, but a lot of holding him straight. Um, I'm enjoying it. I've got considerable pain in my lower right back. Um, I've just tried to adjust my rucksack in case that was slightly wonky. Um, I've also got considerable right forearm pain. So I'm having to dig deep, uh, but I'm, I'm keeping on going. I've got another 320k, feeling positive. Let's go. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, 
We're going to go to June's in a minute, aren't we? Yes. Can I get some water? Yes, for sure. We've got everything you need, including Haribo. Haribo? It's good for you. Hey. Yeah. Woo! It's beautiful out there. Is um, Jean Pradera okay? Um, Juan Pradera Harley. He was going the opposite direction. Yes, yes, yes. He seems to be quite... Uh, Come on, fingers. Yes. Tired fingers. Yes. Uh, I don't need much. Maybe I need one bottle. Oh, well, that's it. I just don't want to run out in the dunes. And you can drink a bit here if you want. Well, you can see there's another one coming up. Thank you. We'll have to wait until the evening. <laughs> All day long. No, but in the evening you have to eat and eat and eat and eat. It's a bike and a car coming. Hello. Hello, though. You are. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> you are here. Stay here to uh, to essence for uh, 20 minutes here. Yep. Eat. I'm gonna eat, get some fuel, and then I carry on, hopefully to the finish line. But these dunes are amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. Today's got to be the best rally stage I've ever done. I'm loving it. Maritania, baby. Especially with the helicopter. I felt like some kind of Bond girl. It was. A it was amazing, buzzing. Eat food, eat food. Thank you. Made it to halfway, which means I'm refueling the bike. Bada -ba blam, refueling me. Um, I'm eating. Basically, all I do in these valleys is basically eat. Talk about going to the toilet, go to the toilet, sleep, ride bikes, and eat. Whew. 
hopefully you're enjoying the video though. Let me know in the comments uh, if you've got any questions, anything that's going through your mind as you're watching this, what's it making you think? Would you be up for doing one of these? Why am I talking with my mouth open? I'm disgusting. My mum, I'm sorry if you're watching this, you taught me better. I'm trying to eat and talk to you and I only have a few minutes. Sorry mum and dad and for everyone that just saw the washing machine of food in my mouth. It's really hard work eating this amount of food. I'm looking forward to not having to eat this much. Mmm, that was the best valley stage I've ever done. Those dunes were phenomenal. It was like riding a rodeo ball. Absolutely epic. Maritania, baby. Beautiful. Oh, no, nope. just one. Just one side. Oh. One side. Yeah. Is it just one ball? Yes. Yeah? Just one. Sorry. I wasn't watching. What do you get? They, um, they're the same. Because here yeah, you want to buy shoes. Otherwise, sometimes the thing gets stopped and then it overflows or floods floors and comes out the bottom. Can I have a little more? And Guter is also there. <coughs> the Austrian guy. Nah, he didn't ride today. Yeah, he rides. No? Nope. Why not? He wants to finish. Yeah. But I don't know how. Take it off for her. Yeah, I just don't want to back it. Oh. That was approval. Possibly the best rally stage I've ever done in my life. When you say the best? The dunes were like heaven. I they were wild. I think it was like 36k or something. And they were like big rolling dunes, but every, I don't know, five meters was a foot or a, to a meter size step. And so you were just like rodeo bulling, jumping, launching, jumping, launching, jumping, launching, jumping, launching, for like 36k and it was so much fun. So much fun. Um, I dance with a donkey. There's a really cute bit where I was leaving going through town and uh, this donkey was in the middle of the road with his little like sack on his face and he saw me coming and he was like, should I go left? But he went left as I went left and he was like, I went right as I went right and we did this like donkey dance. It was so cute. Um, I saw John Budero coming back the opposite way at like checkpoint one. So I think he's had a fuel pump issue or something. There is a story there. Oh, there is, okay. So I saw him come back. Um, I saw another guy, Will, I don't know if I can get off, can you hold the bike while I get off? I um, I was this close to retiring at like probably halfway point with my back pain and I kept, I stopped maybe three times to readjust my rucksack and then on the last readjust I went f*** it, I'm just going to loosen it and put it onto my pelvis and the back sorted. So I need my bag low so that it sits on. You've also got a bum bag that you can swing around the back so take the weight of the bag. Yeah, it seemed to work having it low. Uh, but my right wrist needs some serious uh, knee and stuff tonight, that's for sure. My right wrist is really bad. Um, 
and if bottom pops could propel you, I would have gone faster. But yeah, oh my god. Okay, so the massive moral of this day yeah. is that never listen to anyone else, ever. Some people don't like candy floss, some don't like vodka, some don't like chocolate, some don't like steak. Some people don't like the sound of Mauritania. I love the sound of Mauritania. And I was only like another taster of it and it could still get worse. But it was wild. Yeah, French guys are waiting for you. So. Yeah, I think realistically, don't listen to anybody else. Because loads of people told me the sand here is horrible and it's just horrible. I absolutely loved it. I think today is probably my favourite rally stage I've ever done. There was a section of, I don't know, 35 or 38k of dunes that were big, whoopy, smooth ones, but with oops sorry with like one foot to a meter high like bits and you were just jumping and rap rap it was wild i loved it it was absolutely amazing uh i'm still standing i'm pretty exhausted my right wrist is really tired i just think from holding on it's quite a fast stage can't imagine what speed the top guys were going but um like for me i was even going faster than i typically have been going so uh, i'm still alive yeah, <laughs> it was a really good day. What what are you going to do this evening uh, about your rest and, and how, how can you manage that? Um, I'm going to get some Arnica, ibuprofen, deep heat, give it a good massage and a good stretch. Take on loads of good nutrition and food and protein and just hope that my body does what it's meant to do overnight while I'm sleeping. The earlier I get to sleep, the longer my body has to recover because you recover the most sleeping. So I'll try and get in my tent as soon as possible. <laughs> the days, the days are, are passing. Still, three or four more big Mauritanian stages to to make. Do you begin to look to the finish? Oh, I'm gonna make that finish. Just give me a few more days. Well, what you looking at, Swan? <laughs> Joe shakes his head disapprovingly in the background. <laughs> Actually, you could use that a lot. <laughs> We're back to feeding time in the feeding hole and I'm trying to eat. A really nice wayfarer combined with some gruel. And when you're this tired, it's really hard to eat. Does it taste better than it looks? This stuff? No. The wayfarer bolognese and pasta is good but there's not enough calories in it, so I've got... I think it's like guinea, guinea pig poo mixed with some diarrhea. <laughs> oh, so Annika has the food. And this is what it looks like, apparently. Why did that make me gag? Because... Because it's horrible. As I said, sorry mum, I'm talking with my mouth open again, Bill food. As I said, it's just Vanessa eating food. You missed me crying earlier, but I did cry. It was only momentary, kind of a relief of making it back to the bivouac, because today was a tough day. It was just really long. Zero offs, no falls, super smooth, no navigation areas. But didn't quite eat she just got told off. Do I only eat two bars? I had a protein shake though. Yeah. You've done the whole day before with three bars of protein shake and some nuts. You ate two bars. That was not enough for the energy that you used today. I'm hoping the audio didn't get that. <laughs> the audio 100% got that. <laughs> Expect better tomorrow. There is nothing glamorous about doing rallies. 
but today was probably the the bit in the middle of the dunes was the most fun I've ever had on a motorcycle. And it was absolutely epic. Brat, brat. Oh, I'm too tired. Someone eat this for me. No, but I'll jam can it someone, in Can absolutely. someone in the comments just volunteer? Oh, you might be noticing I'm taped. So the Alpine Stars Air Vest zip pops up right on this collarbone. And as you can see, I'm quite bony and it started to get really sore. So we put a little bit of like a plaster band-aid. It's compact tape, not band-aid. No, there's a plaster oh. with compact tape over the top. So yeah. it's got a double layer. So it's not a band-aid. There is a band-aid underneath the compact. Oh. The plaster. I'm English. <laughs> I just like the fact that I made you call it a band aid. And like then my six spine times. is still done. And you can probably tell by my body, I'm just like overall inflated with like fluid retention. So I'm like a little tank. I think you are procrastinating on eating. So I'm going to turn this camera off so you can enjoy your dinner. I did it! Mom! That was really hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss. Oh, he's all embarrassed now. Oh, stop. That one sip of beer's gone to his head. Yes. I'm in my Right, I'm going to go to the loo and I'm going to get into bed. Okay. And Terry's going to do my back. And then Anna can see doing my hands. Yeah. They are definitely like man hands now. Look at the size of them. Let's see them next to your little fairy hands. They're so swollen. You can't even see the the things on the back. Veins? Look at my little puffy feet. You look cankles. I have. Like I'm, I'm like a little tank. I'm like a big tank. Wait, don't show them my hairy legs. I got hairy legs. Oh, Not anyone glamorous. would think you've been in the desert for like nine days. The beach. <sighs> I don't know, but the bathroom's that way. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm out. Oh my gosh. I need shoes. So you're right. Guess what? Ah! Oh. I discovered sports. Sports? Yeah. Vanessa proof skirt. Your shoes are over there. Your thongs. Right. Your flip flops. There. What you doing? Desert as you do in a Porsche. Woo. 